Jennifer, we're going to start to see what is some very light flurries right now across parts of the metro. Slowly but surely begin to increase through the remainder of the morning. And by the time we hit late morning and through the afternoon, conditions in the metro, which right now are doing just fine on our live WLKY tower camera, will start to go downhill. From time to time, you'll also see this camera shake a little bit. There's a northeast breeze that's been rather brisk, and it's going to blow around some of these few flurries that are out there right now, but could blow and even drift some of the heavier snow we're anticipating across the area later today. Doppler network beginning to fill in with light to at times moderate snow farther off to the south, even batches of heavier snow beginning to pick up in our southern communities that so far this morning have seen a sheet of ice and sleet down towards portions of LaRue County southward to the Tennessee border. Right now, now, though, in the metro, again, outside our studio doors, which is very near the I in Louisville, getting into just a few flurries. That extends northward along the I-71 corridor. I-64 picks up a little bit once you get towards Crawford County and head westward from there through Du Bois County and over towards the Evansville area. And also some snow beginning to fly now towards Breckenridge County, Hardinsburg, Rough River Lake. That snow is going to be picking up over the next few minutes. And here's some of the heavier precipitation. You see those darker shades of blue. It's been going back and forth a little bit between a mixture of freezing rain, sleet and snow. But overall, we're expecting and have started to see signs now that this is transitioning over to a heavier, steadier snow. Meteorologist John Belsky has been in Hart County where they're already beginning to see the roads covered up with snowfall. Temperatures in the middle 20s right now, but there's that wind out of the north and northeast at 15. Some gusts to 30 will be possible today, really knocking down that wind chill. The worst of this winter storm will come late this morning and into the afternoon, especially for the metro area. Now, farther to the south, you're already seeing some treacherous travel conditions. Not only snowy, but add in the wind. It'll make travel very difficult for a large portion of the viewing area through the course of this Friday, especially the later in the day that we go. And this doesn't taper off until late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Our far northern communities will not see much snow from this. A few flurries and snow showers possible, but little to nothing in terms of accumulations. A one to four inch stripe right along and north of the Ohio River into southern Indiana and including Trimble and Carroll County into Kentucky. But a four to eight inch zone will be more common from Louisville and points on off towards the south and southeast. Even a heavier band setting up near the parkways southward where we could see up to a foot of new snow fall. So that snow will be heavy at times, breezy and cold through the day before tapering off. Travel, though, is going to be tough even into tonight and likely tomorrow morning. I would think we're going to at least have to give the road crews a solid 12 to 24 hours to be even begin uh, to get the upper hand on some of the heavier snowfall amounts, which will be in our southern communities, it looks like, with this particular storm system. So we'll continue to watch it. Again, the radar getting more and more active, and we'll continue to keep uh, tabs on that transition over to some heavier snow and tougher travel. Meteorologist Suzanne Ann Horgan is also helping us with that as well. She's in the uh, traffic center right now. Suzanne, what's the latest? Okay.